In this video, I'm going to talk about the latest steam engine that I've designed in the Siege. This engine is an upgrade over my previous engine model, with 8 steam cannons instead of 4. I've redesigned the rocker mechanisms mounted on top of the engine, so that it's more effective at transferring power to the crankshaft. Multiple flywheels are attached to the crankshaft so that the engine can properly cycle. A transmission is connected to the engine here to show that it can do work. The rocker mechanisms on top of the engine work by capturing steam energy and transferring it to the crankshaft. As the crankshaft turns, the rocker mechanisms tilt and change the application of power. When the engine completes half of a cycle, the steam is applied in the opposite direction to create a full cycle. The crankshaft links all of the mechanisms together and transfers energy from the rocker arms to the output. I added a starter wheel to this engine so that it can change direction and get up to speed faster. When the engine starts using only steam power, it has to partially cycle in the opposite direction before it can build enough speed to continuously run. This is what the engine looks like when it's being cycled using only the starter wheel. I've removed a lot of the braces and turned all the graphics settings on low so that you can better see how the engine works. You can see how the rocker arms work together to create constant motion in the flywheel. Here's the engine powering a transmission as it shifts through gears. Here's the engine powering a gearbox that runs a windmill. The engine has a top speed of approximately 60 to 80 RPM. There's a download link in the video description. Thanks for watching. See you next time.